It's Mrs. Hack, and I'm here to explain something that many of you like to do, and that is something called placing a hold. So today I'm going to be talking about why we place a hold and when we place a hold. So placing a hold is a library term that means there is a book that you would like that is not available. So, it does not mean I can't check out and I see a book that I've really wanted to read and I don't want somebody else to get it. That is not why we place a hold. So, to place a hold, you need to make sure the book is not available. So, to do that, we will be coming over here to a computer. When we're at the computer, the way that you will make sure that the book is not somewhere in the library available is you need to get onto the library program. <clears throat> when you are in the library program, let's go to the library, let's go to Sunnycrest, you would want to, come on computer, type in the name of the book that you are really wanting to read. So in this case, it is the book, The Golly Whopper Games. So as I start typing that in, I go ahead and I see the word, it pops up, and it is The Golly Whopper Games. When you, um, and it says the book is in. When I click on the book, it says there is one book available. So if this is the case, what I would need to do is go over to the shelf and actually find the book. So, if I can't check out, but I see there's a Golly Whopper game here, I am not going to put that book on hold. I just need to wait. And the next time I can come in and check, uh, then I could get that book. So, what you're looking for, we only place books um, on hold that are not available. So, when I do that, it will tell me you will see there is zero of whatever available. This one happened to say one of three were available. So there should be one copy here that I could go and find. I'm going to go to a very popular book that a lot of kids want to put on hold, and that is the Lego book right here, the Ultimate Lego book. And when I click on that book, well, first of all, without even clicking on it, I see there's a big sign that says out. That means all copies are gone. When I click on the book, um, you must be logged into your library account to place a hold. So right now, it says zero of tool available, and underneath that, it says add to list. Okay, well that's not going to place a hold. I need to be logged into my account. So now that I know there's a book that I want to place a hold on, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I don't need to be logged in just to look to see where the books are at. But now I want to because I need to place that hold. So type in my student ID number, type in my birthday as eight digits, okay, and I am logged in. I'm going to go back to that book that I saw that Ed wanted, so I typed in Lego. When I click on the book, now that I'm logged in, I have lots of other choices, and this is why it's so important that we learn that information so that we can quickly log into our library account. So I can add things like um, send me a wish that we'd like more of these. I could recommend this book now if I have book friends. And you're going to notice right here at the top it says hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click that and it tells me when I placed the hold. So that book now as soon as it comes into the library, back into the library, the computer keeps track of who has put that book on hold and it will add the people who um, get it next. It will tell us. So when you come to your library time, we will put the books out that have come through and are ready for kids. Because what you will see in your library account is you will see the word pending. The word, oops, pending means waiting, and that means the book has still not come into the library. 
When you see the word, if you want to check before your library time, okay, this is going to be tricky, it'll say ready when the book has come back in and is saved for you under your account. Okay? So, number one, we do not place books on hold that are on the shelf, that the computer tells us there are some available. If we go to our computer and we see holds like that, I actually delete them. So, we all want to be able to get the books we really want to read, and being able to place a hold is the way to do that. So, hopefully that will help you place a hold.